and I'm Ro. We're from Curl Shop, a brand dedicated to bringing you curly hair products. Uh, today on our channel, we're going to be showing you guys three quick hairstyles you can do when traveling because both of us know it is not fun traveling with curly hair all the time. Let's be real. Everyone out there with the wind blowing through the hair, it's a lie. <laughs> so in hot, humid destinations, we have these little hairstyles that will help you just get through your day without your hair being all in your way. Let's get started. Hey everyone, it's Ro. So I'm gonna be showing you the first look today and it actually didn't film properly the first time. So this is me refilming it. So bear with me, please. So this look is my easy half up, half down look. And I just do a little trick to make my hair look fuller, especially now that my hair is shorter. So it needs a little help, unfortunately. So this is what I do when I still want my hair down because my curls aren't completely bad, but I just kind of want it up and out of my face. And all you need for this is an elastic, and a little clip, your little spider clips. So these little guys here. So I just have two of those and I'll be showing you how I use them to make my hair look fuller. So let's get started. I know but those two little clips save my life it makes it look a little bit more complete and more full without it having like one small ponytail and then like long curls especially if your hair isn't too layered um, so yeah <laughs> Hey, so I'm actually rocking the hairstyle that is my go-to. So this is my puff. So you can easily use an elastic. I love these personally. So this is designed for thick hair and it's just a big elastic. And I use one of these bad boys and put it in. So that's how I have it in my hair right now. Boop! <laughs> so this is it unraveled. And that's one style. However, if you're looking to go out and you want a little more sleeker style, I'm gonna show you how to use water, gel, and a hair tie in order to get a slick puff. So when I'm doing a sleek puff, instead of an elastic, I tend to use a slim scarf, and that's because it really gets tight and in there and I can control it. With an elastic, I just haven't had much success doing a tight bun uh it's either too short or it snaps or something so scarf like this good to go so the gel that i'm going to be using today is from buttered up and it is the styling gel max hold other than the styling gel you're gonna want to just grab a water bottle so anyone with thick hair knows that you need one of these bad boys so this is just a bristle brush and this is gonna make sure that it's you know sleek so let's go Tell me that you hear me Tell me if it's over Will you be here in the morning The morning No Tell me that you hear me Tell me if it's over Will you be here in the morning styling gel um you don't really need any edge control i find that it's actually pretty good however little hack make sure you get a silk scarf <laughs> and if you put the silk wrap at the front of your hair leave it for like 10 minutes you actually get a really sleek result so i tend to do that while i'm putting on my makeup so <sighs> tied up and like tacked so there are my two bun tutorials <laughs> one quick updo with one elastic and sleek bun for you 
All right, guys, so for the third look today, I'm gonna to be showing you how I do a kind of like a fake spin on the two braids back. To be honest, a lot of the times I'm too lazy to do the actual braids, so what I do is twist it, and then when I get to the end, I'll braid it so the twist stays secure. And I will show you how I do that. This look is super easy, especially if you wanna throw on a hat, or you just literally, you're tired of your hair, it's just not working out and you want it out of your way. It's the best thing that I love, and I do this all the time. For this look, all you need is a wide tooth comb, um, maybe some type of lightweight leave-in conditioner. So I'll be using this one today. There you go. So I'll be using this one today, which is our coconut milk leave-in conditioner. It is super lightweight. And you might need some bobby pins for flyaways and just uh, two little elastics just to secure the braids at the end. All right, so let's get started. slow down and I'll actually kind of tell you a little bit what I'm doing for it um, so as you saw I took the leave-in conditioner and I just used a little bit basically to add some moisture and keep my hair soft in this style and it makes it a little just easier to manage all right so I just work that through nothing special once I feel like my hair is nicely moisturized I literally start from the top and again nothing super fancy I just grab two pieces and I start twisting it around each other. And then once I do that, I add more hair to it. And I twist that around each other. Actually, sorry, I'm not left-handed, so this one always gives me trouble. Add more hair. Um. It would probably help to detangle your hair slightly before starting, not gonna lie to you, but again, I'm usually too lazy to. <laughs> I'm grabbing more hair and I'm keeping it towards the front of my face just because it's easier for me to control it a little better that way. Obviously you can kind of do it however you please, but I like when they are up towards the crown of my head. All right, so once you get to the base, I do one last twist. And then this is when I separate the hair into three parts and I'll start the braid from here. So I literally kind of just make three separate parts and I start braiding. And this is how I keep the twist secure in my head. The braid kind of acts as like an anchor. I mean, I did this really fast, but this is something I would do and I would just go out about the day. It's perfect if you want to wear like a cap or a big sun hat um, and you're good to go for the whole day. All right, everyone, that's it for our three looks that are quick and easy for traveling. As you saw today, they were not complicated at all, but we just wanted to be real with you guys and give you guys something quick and easy uh, when you're out and about, especially in the sun and hot, humid weather. So we hope those do save you because they've definitely saved us uh, sometimes. So we actually have a great blog post uh, that just ties in some of the accessories that we use that we feel are must-haves when you're traveling. So head on over to blog.curlshop.ca and you'll see our blog post there and many other tips and tricks that will help you whip your curly hair and don't forget to subscribe and <laughs> check out any uh, 
of our other videos from our YouTube and stay posted. Talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>